Well, tonight, a Braintree ice cream shop is defending its move to raise prices. Yeah, Foley's ice cream shop got a lot of questions from customers, and now the owner wants to set the record straight. WBZ's Laura Hayfley has the scoop. Foley's in Braintree has been around for years. The staff is always friendly, always helpful, very patient when it comes to kids. Customers like Amanda Scully and her daughters have their favorites at the popular ice cream shop, but recently guests have noticed prices have gone up. It's, it's heartbreaking. News of the costly ice cream spreading through town, forcing owner Jennifer Foley to take to social media to explain. Our costs have gone up. Foley claims the products she buys, like ice cream, eggs, spoons, and containers, have all gotten more expensive, and her overall operating costs have jumped 65%. Once COVID hit, almost immediately, our prices started, had to go up. Jen forced to charge customers more to keep up with costs and keep the doors open. There's nothing that I've found that we can do except to pass it on. Experts say it's a problem facing small businesses in every industry. We're seeing higher prices across the board. Beginning of the pandemic in March 2020, we've kind of had this um, experience with rolling shortages of different goods. Boston College economics professor Peter Ireland explains the lack of supply is pushing prices up. When it started out with toilet paper, with eggs, the prices were significantly higher. And now it seems to be true for ice cream. Leaving business owners with no choice. You have to pass those higher costs along to the customer. You need to be able to pay workers. You need to make a living yourself. Jen is hoping to drop prices, but for now, staying in business for her customers is what counts. I'm glad that people are still coming in and would love them to keep coming. So, That Facebook post now has more than 600 comments, so it's clear the loyal customer base is going to keep coming by to their favorite ice cream hotspot as long as it's open. In Braintree, Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.